Hey, hi, hello. Welcome back to Katie Vision and hey, what's up? If you're new here, I am working on editing this video and I just wanted to make sure it had a proper intro. If you haven't already, you should check out my previous video. I did a makeup look and a hair look together. I decided to split them up into two parts. So part one, has already been shared. I posted it last week. So you can either go check that out right now, uh, pause this, go check that out, come back, or you can stay tuned, watch how I curl my hair, and then you can go check out the makeup afterwards if you would like. So again, this is part two of the video I filmed for last week and I decided to split it up. So stay tuned if you wanna see how I curl my hair. I hope you enjoy. Okie dokie, we're gonna, we, I, I'm gonna curl my hair and I love to use a heat protectant. I have been using this Tresemme Keratin Smooth. That has just been what I've used just for a very long time. I like to spray my brush, brush it into my ends for sure. I'll do that a few times. There are multiple ways I like to curl my hair. Today I'm going for more of like a, a loose kind of beachy look. So I'm gonna be using my straightener to curl my hair. I'm still, I feel like figuring out the best technique, but this is just what has been working for me and my hair for now. And I do have the chi. I let it heat up to, I feel like I shouldn't have it all the way up. So I always do it to like the three, 80-ish mark, right? Yeah. I do have pretty thick hair and it's pretty long these days, which I'm appreciative of. I'm gonna section this into like three sections, I think. And this process for curling my hair is so quick. And I feel like that's why I, I continue to use my straightener because I'm not, I don't have to sit and hold my hair on an iron. I'm just swiping the iron down and it works. The pieces I pick are pretty, it's pretty inconsistent. I kind of just grab one that like feels right. So I'm gonna take my straightener. I'm not trying for this to be like a tutorial because like I said, I don't know if how I'm doing it, it works the best, but I'm just, I'm just showing you how I do it. So. That's what the curl ends up looking like. And I like to leave out a good amount at the bottom to be straight. And that's just, that's just what I like to do. So I'm going for more of like a loose, a loose wave rather than like a really curly look. If I want curls, I'll use my, um, I think it's my bed head curling wand, but if I'm doing more of like a loose, if I want more like loose waves, this is what I'm gonna do. And you kind of just, you just have to get the process down as far as going away from your face, um, toward your face. It takes practice and don't get frustrated. Just give it some time. Because honestly, once you do kind of get, once you do get the hang of it, I feel like you will love the curls this gives you. And I think you'll love, you'll learn to love the process too, because as long as I pick up pieces that aren't too thick, I feel like I usually only need to do like one pass through. Sometimes if I pick up a piece that's a little too thick and I pull the iron too quickly, it won't curl. So then I have to go back and do it. So then you kind of waste time doing that. But if you get the right piece, right size piece, I'm telling you this process is just pretty slick. Okay, so first section, this is what the curls are looking like. You just gotta figure out what style you like for your own hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the second section. I like to keep the top section pretty small. I do have, I have layers. I have pretty long layers. So three sections on to section two. Kind of just put it all in front. So this is gonna be a second section. I'll 
throw the rest of the hair behind me. I feel like there's a piece, yeah, there might be a piece down there that I'll redo, but that's for at the end. This section is usually a little thicker. It's gonna take a little longer, but okay. So this piece is gonna go away from my face. Put the iron like this, and then there's so many tutorials online, you guys, if you're trying to figure out how to do this. I don't know, maybe one day I can explain it, but I just kind of got to figure it out. I feel like there's so many different irons too. There's so many different flat irons uh, that are just shaped differently that are just going to give you a different, a different look. I'm gonna finish up with this middle section and then I'll check back in when I'm onto the final section. I love, I like the look of the straight pieces at the end. I just, it's just, it's just how it's been working for me. So we are onto the final section. This is what section one and two are looking like. This is my top layer. <laughs> For my final layer, I'm a little more careful on the top layer just because, you know, you really, you see these pieces. So I just take a little bit more time. I'm a little more cautious. I go a little more slowly. I make sure the pieces aren't super thick. And I like to try to bring the iron up a little higher, starting closer to my root. Not for all of the pieces, but I just want to, I don't want it to be super straight. Okay, see, like that, that, this part curled, but this piece did not. So again, just picking the pieces carefully. There we go. And that'll work. I do most of the top layer going away from my face, but when I'm like halfway up, I like to throw in a little bit of alternating just so that it'll give it more dimension. So like starting here, I'll probably just do them all away from my face. Okay, so I got all the sections curled and I just curled them and then I have them all just pulled forward. Next, I like to just kind of shake them out a little bit. I don't want to like run my fingers through them completely just because um, I don't want to take all the curl out. This just helps me see if I need to recurl anything. So right away, I'm noticing like this strand. You can kind of tell. It looks like I got a nice curl at the top, but I just want, I want a little more curl in there. Where go from here? And just kind of shake it out. See if there's any other pieces like that one. All right, so I have gone through and I just added a little curl to a few pieces and I've kind of just been like lightly running my fingers through them just to separate them a little bit, but I don't want to take away from the definition. I don't really put any finishing product on it. It does depend on the day, but I feel like today I'll be fine without if I were going to be out longer, possibly, I would do just like a light like hairspray, but I'm just going out for dinner and I'll probably be back within a few hours. So I didn't do anything too crazy. So here is the finished hair. Like I already showed you, I just thought I would get a different clip with some different lighting. This is the hair 
and makeup and I feel like the curls, the waves will kind of fall, will probably fall a little bit throughout the night, but I just, I like how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed watching. It was fun to do. Let me know if you'd like to see more like this. Thanks so much for watching. Take care guys. I'll see you in my next one.